and welcome back to entertainmentboot.com. Today I have a little demo of the new iPad, not the iPad 3, damn it. It's the new iPad. Anyway, so what I want to show you, I mean, obviously the big thing about the new iPad is its retina display. Um, obviously I can't really show it to you in all its glory through video, but hopefully this little recording will show you how uh, beautiful these games such as Mass Effect Infiltrator look on the new iPad. I mean, they look pretty good on iPad too, but as you can see here, it's just so much more crisp with that uh, Super HD or Ultra HD Retina display. Uh, the other thing I've noticed in playing Infiltrator on the new iPad is it performs much better than the two. I'm sure that has a, you know, a large part for that being the A5X processor and its quad-core GPU. Uh, but this game definitely, I mean, it ran slick on the 2, but it runs much more smooth on the new iPad. So there I got my ass kicked. I'm a failure. Let down Shepard in the galaxy. See you later. Um, so next up, we're going to shut it down here. Look how pretty she looks. And open up the other Retina uh, display example, which is Infinity Blade 2. Um, only a few games have been reskinned for Retina Display, so that's why I'm showing these two. Obviously, Mass Effect Infiltrator and Chairs Infinity Blade 2. Uh, both look good in the two, look even better on the new iPad. As you can see, again, luscious worlds, great colors. Uh, the thing to note is my brightness on the new iPad has actually turned way down, so that's probably why you're not getting as much detail as you'd expect, and it is a recording of video, so that's always going to take down the quality a bit, but still freaking looks amazing. I mean, this retina display is ridiculous. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not a reason to get the new iPad, because it is. Uh, not only do games look great, but so do text, books, other things. But for people like us, sometimes gaming is more important than uh, cultural, learned materials such as uh, reading. Anyway, I'm playing through here, you know, I'm not really that good at this game. I haven't put in much practice, but I can swipe my finger with the best of them. So I'll shut up and let you watch a little bit. As you can see, I wouldn't have made a good sword fighter back in the day. Obviously, don't know when to parry, strike, or block. Alright, so I'll let it go in a little cutscene again. Looks great, Infinity Blade 2. So, next up, I want to just show you some browsing. I'm going to fire up Safari. As you can see, it opens up extremely fast. We're on everyone's favorite site for geeky news, Entertainment Buddha. Yeah, it's, I'm not saying my site's clunky, but it's full of graphics. And as you can see, that loaded up extremely fast on the new iPad. Uh, this is not a mobile site, that is a legit site, so happy about the way Buddha looks on the new iPad. Uh, finally, just want to show you another thing that most users will be using on the new iPad, and that is YouTube. Uh, again, just the speed is there, it's loading already, and the picture looks great, and everyone loves Charlie biting <laughs> fingers, so threw that one on there. You can't beat little kids with British accents. So that's that. That is the new iPad and its retina display. You know, we'll have a full review coming for you on the site. Once again, thanks for coming to entertainmentbuddha.com on a daily basis. See ya.